Hello friends, this is Nick from NLB Solutions and today I'm going to show you how you can enable Active Directory Recycle Bin on Windows Server 2012 R2 and later I'm going to show you a quick scenario of how you can restore deleted user accounts, security groups and even Active Directory organizational units. So let's start with the demonstration. I will start my demonstration by logging into my domain controller with my domain administrator account and uh, you will be able to enable the Active Directory Recycle Bin uh, with PowerShell or using the Active Directory Administrative Center. I'm going to use the Administrative Center to show you how it's done uh, using the graphical interface. So we have uh, one thing that uh, we need to uh, consider here is that once you enable the recycle bin from here uh, you won't be able to uh, remove this feature so it will be hard coded into your domain and you won't be able to remove it uh, later another thing that you need to consider is that your uh, forest functional level must be running at at least Windows Server 2008 R2 you can check uh, what's your current forest functional level when you go to Active Directory Domains and Trusts right click right on the top and you can see the option to rise forest functional level if you open that you will see that uh, the current fo uh, forest functional level for uh, my forest is set to Windows Server 2008 R2 I have two options to increase it to 2012 and 2012 R2 but I'm going to stick with uh, 2008 R2 for the moment and now I'm going to proceed with enabling um, Recycle Bin if, you, if I click here uh, it will ask you uh, that um, this is uh, once Recycle Bin has been enabled it cannot be disabled and do you want to perform? I will click OK and it will say that I need to refresh the uh, AD Administrative Center so um, it can um, show me the deleted um, container on the left side I'm going to click OK to that message and press the refresh button and now I can see another container that appeared after enabling Recycle Bin that is called Deleted Objects if I browse to it I, I can see that there are no objects currently inside now that I have uh, my recycle bin enabled for my domain, I will con continue with the scenario. Um, in order for me to show you uh, what I did here is I'm going to open the Active Directory Users and Computers. And recently, uh, on under my organization, I uh, employed three trainees that I'm going to train to help me with the IT uh, maintenance and help uh, my users within my company. They are called uh, Jeff, Pete and Sandra and what I did is I've created a security group and added them three as a members of, of this security group and it will provide them with the right to make some small changes in, on my Active Directory for example to create new organizational units and new users so I've assigned Pete to uh, create a new organizational unit uh, under the trainees folder where I want the um, computers for my trainees to be stored there but unfortunately Pete instead of uh, going and creating the organizational unit he deleted the trainees um, organizational unit so yes and now um, I'm left without any uh, trainees um, accounts and the security group is gone so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to restore that organizational unit alongside with the user accounts and the security group so I'm again going to start the administrative center and here you can see that on the left side I can see my uh, NLB solutions users and I can see the deleted objects from the recycle bin and I can see here that I have all the objects that Pete deleted by mistake and the type of object so 
Now I can see that I have the three user accounts, one security group and the trainees organizational unit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to restore them all. Right click on it. You can choose to restore to and I can specify a different place to restore my uh, accounts and uh, my organizational unit or I can choose to restore them on their original location. So I'm going to click restore and voila it's done. If I go ahead now to my Active Directory users and computers the trainees organizational unit is missing but if I right click and click refresh I will see now that I have the trainees here alongside with the security group and if I open the security group there they are all the three uh, trainees are there so they can proceed now with um, working normal accounts and to proceed with helping me um, I hope that uh, they will be able to help me and instead of deleting my organizational units they can create ones so just in case what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to view and enable the advanced features so let me enable that and now if I go to trainees organizational unit right click on it and click properties I can go to the object tab and select the tick box for protect objects from accidental deletion and click apply I'm going to click OK and now if Pete tries to delete my organizational unit once again and click yes it will say that you do not have sufficient pr privileges to delete the trainees or this object is protected from accidental deletion so that is how easy you can restore um, accounts in Active Directory alongside with security groups and even full organizational units so I hope that uh, you can learn something from this video and Thank you very much for viewing and see you soon.